Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm sharing with you how to set up a Zcash wallet. The first step is to find the correct domain name. What we can do here is go to Google and we'll go to CoinMarketCap for this one. Once we're on this site, CoinMarketCap.com, we're going to scroll down the list until we find Zcash. And I see it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and look for their website, which you're going to click also. And I'm going to do that right now. And here's their website. It's Z.Cash. Okay, you do want to make sure it is a secure website and that it's a HTTPS website and that it's verified to be secure by looking at this green padlock right here. So it is secure. Another way we could find the website is by going on their Twitter profile. The way I could do that is if I go back to CoinMarketCap and I scroll down and I click social here. If I scroll down again, you'll see that the Twitter profile page pops up and I'm gonna go ahead and click that. On Zcash's Twitter page, they have 69, almost 70,000 uh, subscribers or followers and if you look at their description here, they're linking out to Z.Cash, which I'm going to click again, and it does take me back Z.Cash. So great. I'm going to exit out of here for now, and I'll exit out of this Twitter page, and I'll even exit out of CoinMarketCap. Great. So now the second step is to choose the correct wallet. And the way you do that is by going back to Zcash here. What we're going to do is just click Get Started right here under Internet of Money. So click Get Started. And what happens is you're going to scroll down a little bit to start choosing a wallet. And the only official Zcash client is for Linux. However, there are third-party wallets that we're going to use. So let's go ahead and click these third-party wallets, this blue link right here. And this link redirects us to zcashcommunity.com slash wallets. This is telling us the best place to find all the Zcash wallets. Okay, so there is a list here of wallets. However, in this video, I am going to be focusing on the first one. Step number two is to choose the correct wallet. And the, the wallet we're choosing is the Garda Zcash wallet. And this is not the official wallet for Zcash. However, it is the recommended wallet from the Z.Cash website. And also note that the Garda Zcash wallet is free and open sourced. And my favorite part is that it's also user friendly. So let's move on to step number three, which is to download the wallet. And what we're going to do is just click this purple symbol right here with the Z on it. Just click it. And what happens is it directs us to Garda.co, which is the website to download the Garda wallet. What we're going to do now on this website is go to desktop wallets on the tabs list. It's the last option. Go click that. And we're going to scroll down a little bit till right here. And this is the time to choose the appropriate download for your device. However, for me, and in this video, I'm going to be using the Mac OS version. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And what you'll notice is on the bottom left, it's starting to download. 
it is going to take some time to download, so be patient with that. You could go ahead and pause the video here and continue the video once it's done downloading. Based off this information, it's going to take about 45 minutes up to an hour to download. So I'll go ahead and come back to this video once that's done. Okay, great. So the Garda wallet has finished downloading and we're on to the next step, which is to install the wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and double click this, the bottom left side, the download. I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna drag this into my applications folder. So I will do that right now. And what I'm gonna do next is open it by double clicking on it. It's asking if I'm sure if I wanna open it. I'm gonna say open. And what I'm gonna do next is exit out of all this So there you go. The Garda wallet is officially installed and it says hello, welcome there. In this video, I am not talking about how to send or receive, backup, protect, or even update the wallet. I will be saving that for future videos. So the last step, number five, is to verify that you can open and close the wallet so I'll go ahead and show you how that looks like right now. What I'm gonna do is drag my screen recorder to the top left. And as you can see, it says Garda on the top. And what I'm gonna do is press this quit button. And it disappeared. The way that you reopen it is by going to your finder and go to applications and find Garda. And what you do is you right click and then click open. And are you sure you wanna open it? You click open and you could exit out of this applications. And here it is loading once more. There it is, perfect. You've officially downloaded and installed the Garda wallet. This concludes my video. If you like seeing tutorials like this, go get yourself a copy of the Cryptocurrency Investing Blueprint. You can learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint. And you could get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. You could also follow me on Twitter at Denny Lovejoy. And thank you so much for watching my blockchain tutorial on how to set up a Garda account and a Garda wallet for Zcash. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, go ahead and leave me a message on Twitter. Thanks again and have a terrific day.